Alright, it's already perfect. So, um, hey guys, I'm a gamer. Welcome back to Portal 2. In the last episode, we got the chapter 6. We're on chapter 6 right now. I'm going to follow my curtains so there won't be any old sunlight for the screen. But yeah, we got, we're on chapter 6 right now, chapter the fall. We, we woke Gladys up for the second time for me. We, um, we had a companion, but he betrayed us. And now we're underground. So, yeah, wait, where did I just come out of there? It is. <laughs> and let's go. Dang. It's been forever since I've been out here. Jeez. Everything's coming apart. Cause that's how old this place is. The music in this game is just great. I love it. It is. It's pulled clever. Whoa. Kay Johnson. married to you, right? There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. So basically this is where we find out all the gel stuff. Propulsion gel, uh, propulsion gel, I think. I don't remember the names of them. I just know... I just call them, give them nicknames like bounce, bouncing, bounce, portal, and speed. That's how I, I give them names. Cause that's how I don't know. That's why I don't know. Cause they all have complicated names like repulsion gel, something like that. So yeah, I just call them by that. Cannibal! Nailed it. Now your allergies. Pollen, animal danger, plastics, anti matter. Wait, can we let us do plastic? That's a thing. Well, hang on. I'm gonna see all the different types of allergies in this game. In not in this game, but I mean in the world. But now I'm curious. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. That aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hey, these have more space. These have some more space. And the old logo. It was basically aperture science from back 19 something. We're like in the. 30, 3,000 something. Yep, that there. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part repulsion of the control group, gel. by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. 
tragic, but informative, or so I'm told. See, this guy, this, I like this guy, um, I don't remember the name of him, but he was like, some voice from other shows, movies, stuff. You would know, I think some of you would know. Yeah, I really like, he's funny. <laughs> he was like, played in the old Spider-Man movies, and the new one. Well, not the newest, the newest one. No, no. Um, he was also in, like, the, another game for this, like, Death the Drop something. just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> yeah, he was also in Death Drop, which I don't know if it's on this console or not. So, yeah. It might be, but... I don't know if I'm going to play that. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you yeah, said a holy chair sure. lobby and work very glad of your pants, we took care of that, too. There it is. Three, two, one. I'm taking the cube. It belongs to me. <laughs> Hold on a sec, guys. I thought I heard something. I'm back. Alright, where's that? That opened there. <laughs> but I could have just done that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Monday. I'm recording this on Monday, so that's why I'm asking this. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Yeah. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> okay. Get in this. <laughs> I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Me, Connor said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Alright, let's push the button. Let's put the bubbles. Move that back a little bit. Oh, hold up. Sec, uh, 
Whoop. Uh, whoop. I'm smart. Kaboom. There they go. One. Two. Three. There, that's it. Boom! Berkeley unchallenged. Alright, let me let you, let me tell you something. I can just uh, stop talking. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Okay, so let me tell you something. After every time I record this, uh, I go back and look at what teams I got. And just to see what there is, since not much games on Nintendo have achievements. So, yeah. But I think they're starting to add, Nintendo's starting to add achievements to the games now, or some games soon. So, um, I'm just, I actually am happy. If they do, I would be actually happy, because there would also be some for you to do after you complete the game. There would be actually some more to do to, than just the main story. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your okay, skull. Okay, this is basically just water, so... Even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so right. we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of here pretty fast. Uh, hang on, let me just boom... Boom. <laughs> oh, dang it. All right. Too easy. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself awesome. on the testing track, don't make eye Remember, contact. Remember, if you future you try eyes to warn you about this test, don't listen. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Oh, come on. I know this place is old and run down, but seriously? Well, it's surprising. I'm still impressed that I'm actually impressed it so works. The boing, the boom. There. All right, I remember this one. I think this was the one I was having trouble before when I was playing this. I actually don't know. Oh, hold on, guys. Here, let me see. All right, guys, I'm back. I just have some on. My boyfriend's just trying to call me. I'm not mad that I did, but I do feel bad that I didn't, didn't take the call. But I'm busy. I'm busy with this job, so. Yeah, the job that I don't really get paid, so. I tell them we can call after I do this, so. If you're hearing this, hmm. it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like protection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. Yeah, get back here. Get back here. You and me against the world, son. I like your grit. I didn't know I could pick out the glass. Let's solve this thing. I didn't know I could pick out the glass. That was. Was I always able to do that? Get, get over, get over here, you! See, it's just like trying to catch a ball. It's just me trying to catch a football. 
Yes, I don't really catch it. Shut up. That right here. Uh, blue portal here. Boom. Make that bounce. And it'll just. There we go. Let's go. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry city science that you love so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't get you on the bottom of the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject. You're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out of the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. It's funny. It's just funny. This game is like this game has like drama or some uh action and comedy. That's why I like about it. And also get and it's also uh it's another word I can't describe. There's something else I can't describe it, so it's just very Congratulations. Annoyed. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff in the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as Dang you it. keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> Alright, now we're moving on to this section. You have to find ladders too. So she got to turn into a potato. Ooh, that was close. Boom. Boom. Cannonball. Mm. Moving on to the speed fast gel. Look, I just got fast there for a moment. Here we go. Gotta get up there. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. right. <laughs> now, you might be asking yourself, Cave, just I'm how this goes on here. What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions yeah. with a question. Who wants to make $60? Me. Cash. Me. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room. Which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on. Be Ship overboard, yes. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. Okay, so these are like different tests. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. Okay. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. Zeg me Frankenstein, yes, all right. Let's go. I'm glad I came over here, so that way there's achievement over there. Boop. Now, let me just put that right here. Actually, no, that's gonna block, so. Right there. 
Cannibal! Yep! Woohoo! Mm. Oh, hi. Hey, GLaDOS. Say, hey, you're good at murder. <clears throat> Could you help murder this bird for me? Nah. Things even between us. No hard feelings. As much as I don't want to do this, Please get, get out of here. Did you feel that? Yeah. You know what? I'll help you. Like because I'm the one who got partially eaten by a bird. You better keep your word. Tater toe. Tater toe. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Oh, where are we? How long have I been out? About ten five seconds. And you're dead again. I'm gonna. Your name is gonna be Potatoes. She's a potato, and she's Glados. So Potatoes. <laughs> Go. Chapter Seven: The Reunion. Alright, so, um, before we continue, uh, babe, if you're watching this, I just want to let you know I love you and I always love you. I just want to let that out. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you get through. I don't know if you're going to watch this, and I don't know if you're watching the videos. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Boy, did I just... Who is that? Oh, that's Helen. Oh, hello, Helen. Hello, Helen. Oh, 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 hello, Helen. So, this is the chapter I was stuck on, since that was in developer commentary, and I didn't know that I was doing that the whole time, so. I was on this bit for about five or six, 20 days, or maybe a whole year, I don't know. So this is a speed gel, cause it's like sliding gel. So it makes it feel smooth and fast. Okay, let's grab this. Let's run over here. Ooh, hold on, hold on. So, and I also didn't know this until I played the co-op version that you can actually crouch down on the blue gel. While you're uh, bouncing to stop bouncing, I didn't know that until I played the co-op for it. Alright, and let me just do that and do that. Just walk up here slowly, and yep, that should be good. And run. Let's go. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. 
but calmly. Sure, let me get another achievement real quick. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Okay, Jonathan Carroll. Actually, wait a minute. She does look familiar now that I think about it. Not cause, not, I played this before, yes, not, I don't remember from the, I remember her from the game, but I remember her seeing her on a different thing. I don't know if I did see her or not, but, in a different game, but I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know, I'm just getting, this feels weird. So, hang on. I'm gonna do that. Yep. Her and boing. Mm. See that? Boom. I gotta leave the orange one there, so boom. Let's go right here. Woo! Let's go! Nailed it. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Yeah, I know him too, from movies. Oh, that's new. I mean, I, it's been the game before. I'm just saying that's, that we're in a different section. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. Okay, wait, where's the cube? The cube is up there. Where did I... Okay, so... that and need a little more juice come on ow okay now I have a little more since mm -hmm. go right there very good very good for launch three two one go Yep. Nailed it. Didn't break a leg. Ah, I'm joking. I still think that was, that was fun. That's kind of funny. That to you, probably not. My humor is probably way... My humor is way beyond... It's like my own level, which is now a really good level. Okay, so, uh... What did I do? Oh, yeah, I do the. Oh, wait, no, I gotta go back. I have to go back. I gotta go back. Wait, that's the wrong way right there. I have to make that bounce. Come on. Oh, 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 there. I can mess that up. Okay, now let's go back. Will it work? Yeah, it's gonna work. It'll work. It's gonna work. Let's put that right here and go. Woo! Stranger than friction. I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. 
So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. The other one should be paying me if I'm going to do this. I don't get paid enough for this job. I don't even get paid at all. Because I'm basically too young for a job. And um, this is my... I can. This is the only job I can do that I can get paid for. All right, we're done with the orange stuff. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking thank these people. people for staggering your way through Aperture Sciences propulsion gel testing. You propulsion. made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, That's humanity called. is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize sixty dollars is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on. I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Alright, let's go for the next one, which is the final one. Ah, this is the time for the portal gel. A mess. Let me just boom, boom. It's kind of loud though. Woo! Oh, I didn't jump. It doesn't matter. All right. Woo! Eh. Get out of here. So. Wait for him. What are you planning on doing? You're you're just a potato. You can't really do anything. I gotta wait. Just go 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 go. Welcome to the enrichment center. Yeah. <laughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <laughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counter told me we literally could not afford to buy $7 worth of moon rocks, much less $70 million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now... We're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Jeez. Why would he take some moon rocks if they're poisonous? I don't It could be for science, but... I guess that just proves how much he cares about his life. He does he would do anything he doesn't even care about it that he would just make probably even kill himself. Okay, uh let me just do that. Do that. Let me just make sure that horrible. Whoa! Why it ends. When life gives 
you know, a lot of achievements. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. Man, get that goodbye so he's basically gonna put his brain in like a robot or something well I might have done that oh wait oh that makes sense that's why he was like a giant head now Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense now. He was like, uh, okay, this might be a spoiler, and I haven't played it, but I watched like a good gameplay of it, because that's how I do. So he was in like a giant head, and so that's who, and it was like talking, like he had a brain in there. And I just thought that. Uh, maybe he was always like that, but he was a human, and, and he was put in that head and for like, and he was there for like many years. Or something. Look, I'm not. I'm still trying to get this lore out. So. Boom. Boing! Ta-da! Okay, where do I go from here? I don't remember exactly everything. Oh! Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just humming the song that Turret sang in the last episode. Alright. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh. There we go.
Okay, and where is other? Um, come on, a little more, a little more. There. Let's head back, and three, two, one, go. Boing! Born. There's the exit. Guys, this looks like we're getting a short episode today. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get over there. Let me just do this. Kill you, I, I think. Let's go. <laughs> and there's our exit. Okay, let's go. Come on, break it down. You can do this. Ow! There we go. Probably. Yeah, don't make yourself go into Paradox, otherwise you're gonna die. And here's our exit. And it's our only plan we have. I'm head back. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot about these little I forgot about those little guys. The Franken turrets. Those things are really cute. Chapter eight. The itch. Well, we're gonna do that another time, so I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, leave a comment, leave a like, ring the bell for me to know if I'll post another video, and I'll see you guys in, in chapter 8. Bye!